If someone was to tell me my story, I don't know if I could believe them. A story that starts with mechanic Jay Withy and ends with dozens of his new family members. Just mayhem out there. It was Friday night, December 23rd. Jay just got home from work when the blizzard intensified. I have never seen anything quite like this. He got a call from a friend stuck driving in the snow just a few miles away. Put some sweatpants on, the sweatshirt on, and took off. On the way, he picked up a guy named Mike, who he saw walking in the snow. We both uh, navigated using our phones because he couldn't see. Never seen snow fall in piles like this. The wind didn't help. Gust near 70 miles per hour. That wind creating snow drifts as tall as his pickup truck. He got stuck in one for good with only a quarter tank of gas left. I told this Mike kid, I said, listen, I have money in my wallet. I have $500. I said, uh, someone's going to let us stay in their house for 500 bucks. I left my truck and I walked. Couldn't see my hand. It was like sticking my hand through a wall. Jay says he was out in these conditions for more than two hours searching for shelter. Knocked on every house I could find and unfortunately they all turned me down. He was soaked and frozen. And my body started shutting down. Uh, my chest locked up, my hands froze solid, I couldn't open my hands. Yet the blizzard roared on. Uh, the worst weather I've ever seen. That is from what he could see before he got lost in a blinding blizzard blast. Lost vision completely. On the brink of collapsing, a miracle. End up bumping into something that was vibrating and realizing, realizing I just walked in the back of my own pickup truck. So I got in the truck, I put my hands on the dashboard and my head on the steering wheel and I that's all I remember, I passed out. Jay woke up with blurry vision, and then in the first few minutes of Christmas Eve, a knock on his truck door. She works at ACMC, her name's Mary. She went to go get shelter, and she found my truck, just by miracle. And she's crying, asking me to get in. It's so wild. You got turned away, like Mary and Joseph did at the end. That's how the manger scene happened. And then at midnight, a lady named Mary comes to your door. She goes, that just doesn't, I'm like, that. Mary, Mike, and Jay remained in the truck until it ran out of fuel a few hours later. I looked on my GPS and I found a building and ended up being that school. There was only one clear option on this Christmas Eve morning, break into Edge Academy. Schools have very safe windows, so it's very hard to break. Jay found uninstalled brake pads in his truck and used that to break the glass of a school window. Once inside, he disarmed the alarm. Yeah, they call him MacGyver. He walked out to get Mary and Mike from his truck and brought them inside, but he wasn't done. I made like 40, 50 trips out of that school. All of Saturday, Jay searched for people. He tells me he dragged 11 people from cars into the school, like Robert Holzman. Somebody approached the car and so they got into the school. Uh, that was Jay. They totaled over 60 people in and out of that school over those days I had it open. Jay even found janitor keys to get gym mats so people had a place to sleep. And he used school resources wisely, breaking into the kitchen to eat and cook the lunch menu. Apples and cereal and juice boxes and milk and water. Stuffed crust pizza. That's probably the best pizza I've ever had. After eating, he would search for more people, even to nearby homes, inviting people to the warm school he had just unlocked. For some people who declined the invite, he still stayed to fix their generators. Hours of just that, you know, networking. Oh, I'm fine, but I ran out of gas. Okay, going across the street, hey, do you have a gallon of gas your neighbor can borrow? He even hotwired the school's snowblower to get to people easier. Just always been that person. While he was out, people wandered into the school, like Sabrina and Dino. I thought we were going to die. Before leaving on Christmas night, he made sure everyone was good and left this note. To whomever I may concern, uh, I'm terribly sorry about breaking a school window and for breaking into the kitchen. Got stuck at 8 p.m. Friday and slept in my truck with two strangers just trying not to die. There were seven elderly people also stuck and out of fuel. I had to do, I had to do it to save everyone and get them to shelter, food and a bathroom. Merry Christmas, Jay. That's what they dubbed me. Merry Christmas, Jay. But he saved us. If anyone can take anything from this, it's just to, if you can help someone, help them. Months later, the Bills and Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield sent Jay to the Super Bowl in February. He threw out the first pitch at a Bisons game. But most importantly... we got a bigger family now. And they still keep in touch. Michael Schwartz, 7 News, Buffalo.